Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about the body armor in Resident Evil 4 Remake. Just how important is the armor? Does it really make a big difference? And is it really useful in combat? As usual, the video contains spoilers and timestamps are in the description. Please note that I have done these tests on new game professional difficulty with the latest game patch at the time of uploading this video. The test results may vary depending on how much you have upgraded Leon's maximum health and which difficulty you are playing at. First, let's quickly look at the body armor, sometimes referred to as a combat vest or the tactical vest. This is an item that can be purchased from the merchant in chapter 8 for 18,000 credits. It protects the wearer completely from shots and explosions and reduces damage from close quarter attacks, that is melee attacks. Its durability degrades each time Leon gets hit, but much like the combat knife, it can be repaired at the merchant. For a price, of course. After purchasing the body armor, you will notice Leon's outfit will change slightly showing that he is wearing the combat vest. You will also notice an icon next to Leon's health and ammo display which shows the durability of the armor. One interesting note is that once you have bought the body armor, you cannot sell it back to the merchant. In fact, it is one of the very few items that you cannot sell back to the merchant. Therefore, it almost feels like you are supposed to purchase this in order to continue further into the game. But just how effective is the body armor or the combat vest? Let's see, starting with explosive weapons. I will use a standard grenade for the first test, and as you can see, the body armor absorbed all the damage from the grenade, at a cost of the durability of the armor. If Leon does not wear any combat vest, then he will take a lot of damage from the grenade explosion. But how about enemies using other explosive weapons, such as a rocket launcher? Towards the later portion of the game, you will encounter enemies that shoot rockets at Leon. As you can see from the video, the armor will absorb all the damage, even from a direct hit with the rocket launcher. Even when the durability of the armor is degraded, as long as it is not fully damaged or broken, the combat vest can still absorb the damage from the rocket. However, if Leon does not wear any armor or if the armor is completely damaged, then one direct hit from the rocket will instantly kill him, regardless how much health he has left. The body armor can also mitigate damage from other types of explosions, such as the dynamite sticks, laser trip mines, and the exploding arrow that Krauser uses, making the item invaluable during the second Krauser boss battle at the end of chapter 14. Moreover, shots from the crossbow, acid damage from the black liquid, and even gunfire are all absorbed by the armor. Same with the fire damage from enemies attacking with the flame torch. Nevertheless, Leon will still be stun-locked by the attack, so the combat vest only makes Leon immune to certain types of damage, but it has no effect on the actual stun-locking after getting hit. Alright, how about melee attacks? Well, I have tested with different types of enemies from the castle area. First, enemies with the hand axe. Without the body armor, it takes about two hits using the axe, and Leon's health will be flashing red, with a third hit being fatal. However, with the armor, it takes three hits with the axe for Leon's health to be flashing red, and the fourth hit will be fatal. Therefore, the armor allows you to survive one additional hit. The results are similar with the throwing axe as well. Unlike the crossbow bolts, the throwing axe counts as a melee attack, and again, Wearing the armor allows Leon to survive a few extra hits. Secondly, enemies using the scythe. These guys deal substantially more damage 
than the ones with the axe, and their attacks also carry a lot of forward momentum, making them actually quite difficult to position dodge. Without the body armor, Leon will die after getting hit twice. Again, with the body armor, you can survive an extra hit. The same thing for enemies using the chain mace or the flail. Surprisingly, the mace does the same damage as the scythe, but of course, the attacks have significantly less range. The armor can also reduce damage from punches, kicks, and the most annoying attack in the game, enemies grabbing and choking Leon. However, because the armor does not mitigate the stun locking after getting hit, you can still be combo locked into oblivion. The combat vest also does not protect Leon from certain instant kill attacks, such as enemies with the chainsaw or the parasite monster which bites off Leon's head. Those attacks will still be an instant kill, regardless the durability left on the armor itself. Another important note to make is that enemies in later chapters of the game can deal significantly more damage than enemies in earlier chapters even if they are wielding similar types of weapon. Additionally, there appears to be some hidden difficulty adjustment factors, where if you perform very well in the game, i.e. not taking much damage, landing accurate shots with your weapons, countering with many perfect parries, Leon appears to take more damage from certain attacks. However, if you perform poorly in the gameplay, taking lots of damage, etc. Leon appears to take slightly less damage. I'm not exactly sure how it works, so I will not go into details in this video, but these factors could make a small difference in the effectiveness of the body armor. Overall, the body armor appears to be very useful because it increases Leon's survivability, effectively making him immune to the damage from certain attacks. However, melee attacks on high difficulties can still do a lot of damage, and the durability of the armor can quickly degrade if you take too much damage. Therefore, you will need to constantly repair it, which can cause a lot of credits. Credits that can be otherwise used to upgrade your weapon or to purchase other resources. To put it simply, Yes, you should definitely purchase the body armor, but do not expect the game to be a walk in the park. And you can still die very easily on high difficulties if you are not careful. Okay, that's all I want to say about the body armor. I hope this video has been informative. Thanks all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.